This is Jarrett with another episode of me playing Oxygen Not Included. Today I would like to have a project where I build solar panels. And the reason for that is I want to stop burning through my coal. There is a problem. It's a little more complicated. So let me explain. I This is here. This is what I want to research and build. Solar panels. But there's two problems. The first of which, this thing needs to be made out of glass. And I need a glass forge in order to do that. Secondly, I need to do material science research in order to enable that. And that's down here. So in order to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to break this down into three projects. The first project is about doing my material science re you know, research. So we'll do that in this episode. Next, we'll look at glass and finally the solar panels. So let's just concern ourselves with material science research. So I'm going to have the material study terminal that's going to be used by scientists to do the research. That's simple enough. But that is going to have an input of rad bolts. So there's a couple ways to generate rad bolts. One is the manual rad bolt generator. I don't like using that. I prefer using the rad bolt generator and the reflector that goes with it. So let's start that research. Furthermore, we need to choose a location. So that Red Bull generator itself needs radiation. I get a small amount of radiation from the light bugs, but nothing significant. The radiation that comes from this plant here, the Wheezy Wards, is pretty good. I would build that next to this, except for one thing. I typically like to build it when there's two close together. I uh, I could just accept the fact that there's only one, except for the fact that the thing is sitting on top of polluted ice, which is just about to melt. So that uh, that's so. Fortunately, there's an alternative. I can actually generate my own radiation with this thing called a radiation lamp, and that could be installed anywhere as I have a wall. Uh, so let, let's uh, also so for that is going to require uranium ore. So let's mine that out first. I'm also going to choose a selection for research to happen. How about right here? So we'll start carving out that area, do some research, and I'll meet you in a little bit. So there's two things you're going to need. In order to build a material study terminal, you need metal. So I'm going to produce a little bit more metal. And the lamp I mentioned earlier needs uranium ore. So I just have a little storage bin I'm going to put uh, that into. So I'm going to install the radiation lamp. And as I mentioned, this has to be against a wall. So that's why I built this tile. I'm now able to build the materials study terminal. So this thing here is what I need to push rad bolts into. And rad bolts travel through the air. So they need to be collected with radiation. So I'm expecting this lamp is going to send out radiation at this point. The rad bolt generator is going to collect it and shoot it in the direction of my choosing. So I'm going to choose this to go down. And that's going to have to get go through a reflector to get to here but I'm going to add an extra reflector and I'll explain what I'm doing with that in a moment. Okay, so I have my reflectors in place. So this is going to send a red bolt down to here. It's going to input in here and I want this end to shoot this down. And this end I also want to shoot down. They're both going to be shooting down into here. Now this may look strange, but this is how this is going to work. These guys have the ability to be enabled or disabled with automation. So I want to connect that. And what this is effectively saying is it's going to send a green signal when the rad bolt storage is full. So when this is full, and that meaning that it doesn't need any more rad bolts, this thing, uh, this wing will be on, meaning that when the, this starts firing rad bolts, it's going to be input here and be an in infinite loop. It's going to hold it. And the moment this returns false, meaning it needs some, it's going to stop. 
meaning that this will not no longer accept red bolt so when it gets shot out it's going to be shot down here instead of wasted so that's what i'm doing the other thing i want to do is what i've done with many other machines so far is put on automation for lights okay this machine is now operational i just stopped because they're idle it's going to take a while to collect some. It's producing heat. I'm not concerned about that because I'm going to turn it off after my research is complete. And if I look at my radiation levels, I'm getting about 600 or so you know, uh, rads per cycle at that point. Significantly hazardous. I don't want two things I don't want. I don't want my duplicates standing in front of that, nor do I want them uh, walking around You know this or or walking in front of this. So that's why I put my ore in here. So if they need to load this, they can just push it in. Now, if I want to be very cautious, I could create a door to block this off, but I, I'm not really expecting them to have a purpose to go in there. So I'm fine with that. One other comment is the fact that this thing uses a lot of power, at least at this point in the game. 480 plus a 60 to run the lamp. Um, 120 down here. I'm going to build another power generator. Manual generator. And I'm going to make an exception. I don't like doing this. Very rare times I will ever want to have to. I'm probably going to destroy it after, uh, after this. Uh, furthermore, I'm going to mark this I'm going to put 95%, meaning that uh, you should be jumping on that as soon as uh, their little bit of power goes away. I'm going to put the same setting here. The idea here is I just want to save my, my uh, coal as much as I can. So that's temporary situation while, we're do while we have this machine running. Once we have solar power, I'm going to stop doing this. So while research is going on and rad bolts are being collected, I'm going to explore a bit. So I want to enable this wire. I'm putting the transformer there. Notice little down arrows in the uh, small wire. Always look at it as the down arrow goes towards the smaller wire. Never build one of these without a smart battery because what that's going to do if you connect it with the automated wire, it's going to turn off the transformer when it's not needed. They waste, uh, it's producing heat that you don't need. So we just selected the advanced research to begin. I'm just cleaning out this area again, just essentially killing some time until uh, rad bolts are collected. The other thing is I want to mark someone to be able to do advanced research so that I can tell scientists to do the material study terminal, which I'm going to mark as a higher priority here in a second. And so they'll prefer to do that and someone else can still do the other form of research. So that's how I've planned it uh, so far. Pip egg. Interesting. Okay, that's going to be a later episode. So I'm just going to see if I can catch the animation maybe. Oh, there we are. So it sent a little bit of red bolts, uh, 98, into this machine. A quick note on a property of red bolts while I'm here is while they're transferring in the air, they start to lose lose um, the number of red bolts that are there. They decay effectively. So whether they're going through this machine you know, in an infinite loop while it's waiting. So notice right now this, this machine is full. Actually, no, it's not completely full because I think researcher used a little bit up, so it's saying you know, send some uh, send some here. But while it's transferring in the air, it's going to be losing some or running here. So if I had this very far away, that would be a waste because the rad bolts is going to be shedding some of its value as it came down. So while research is ongoing, I'm just going around digging out some material, collecting some more polluted water, putting that into my polluted water to oxygen system, and having a search for the other teleportation system. Okay, we have just completed the research. So that is perfect. In the next episode, let's do Glassforge. See you there.